We have received another important question. How can I worship God? And where can I worship God? Is it possible to worship Him at any places? Or only in my own room? Or in a church? This is the time when I am not sure for I need to cry or laugh. But uh, it's very serious, so nothing to laugh or cry. It's need to just get to the Bible, get to the instruction book, and learn about worship. Today, most of many places we can see entertainment, concert, uh, a good worship team, how we call. Um, is a key can be for people like to come to church with music and uh, yeah no any problem about these things for is not the important part now also uh, when we talk about uh, form of worship we can also can share about uh, can thanksgiving God, a form of worship, praise God, also in form of worship, and the worship is something what is a very intimate form, what we can do and what we do when we relate with God. Now, of course, if you have a car and you like car, we can share, you can worship a car. And uh, if you worship a car, yeah, it's uh, where, it can be anywhere. Uh, the car, uh, you just uh, like the brand uh, and like the, to see all this for what is the, the new update and uh, somehow focusing all of this about the things. And this is really outside of you. That means the car, you know, it's something what is uh, exist and maybe belongs or not belongs to you, but you really like it, you worship. It can be also, you know, you worship a woman, you know, you do everything, so bringing flower, bringing to different parties, uh, uh, you give wonderful words and uh, sharing all your heart about how you worship him, or oh, sorry, or her. <laughs> the eyes can be also women or men. And so many, many ways we can express our love, love expression. But if we study and knowledge, we study the worship, worship our God, it's very interesting, first important things, what the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, and verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So that means everything is focusing about you. And if you look at this Bible verse in another more deeper expression through the Amplified translation, listen what they saying. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent, act of worship. Wow! 
It's all about you. How to offer yourself? Are you given yourself to God? What is your attitude, the character, and everything when you do worship? It's not about you worship for which song is a hymns or rock music. It's a guitar or just singing a cappella. It's about you. It's about how you dedicated yourself before God. Therefore, interesting also can more understand about uh, the true worship when we sing the conversation between Jesus and Samaritan in the Bible, the Gospel of John, chapter 4, and verse from 19 to 24. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestor worship on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. If somebody tells worship what you do not know, we worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshippers must worship in the Spirit and in truth. Wow! You talk about must. What is the true worship? What is Jesus saying for us? What our Father seeks? So look at it. It's not about for which mountain, which outside, which church, which place you go, or even Jerusalem. It's once again about true. You worship yourself as a living sacrifice in the Spirit, the Spirit of God, and in truth, and the truth is God. So all things basically about you and about your character. Doesn't matter where you are, your home or church, or either any countries, worship places. It's about you. You are the temple of God, and this is the place of worship. Before there was outside, God teach them step by step through the, from the tabernacle until to the temple, and finally until they understand we are the temple of God. We are basically the place of worship. So even it's wonderful just being in a room alone in His presence. And we give our body as a living sacrifice. And if we sing songs or we speak to him, we just worship him for he is. We worship him in spirit, in true and in his wonderful Holy Spirit. And in truth, through his word, what he says, what he reveals. Wow, one so wonderful that you receive from a heavenly word we call a rhema, when the Lord gives a revelation for it. How many times you feel full of joy and you start, wow, thank you, Lord, the word. It's really give breakthrough for me in such situation. And this is the worship in spirit and in truth. But let's see a little bit deeper this part about the amplified translation 
the verse 23 and then 24 in John chapter 4. But a time is coming and is already here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit from the heart, the inner self, and in truth, for the Father seeks such people to be His worshippers. I'm sure for you like to be His worshippers. Father is searching you, so let go and worship Him in spirit and in truth. <laughs>